Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 in our Rags to Riches series here for part number 20. Finally hit part 20. So we're here back in the pinky. Um, this field is fully... Uh, or are we? Ploughed. So, except for a tiny little bit there, but who cares? Um, yeah, so it's fully ploughed. Needs to be limed. Needs to be um, fertilised. So none of that. No fertiliser, no weed. So I'm going to fertilise it first. Then I'm going to come through with um, our cultivator behind us. Get it cultivated. And um, hopefully we can start planting as well. Alright, so try and set ourselves up to about uh, 0 degrees, 960. Not that it really matters. Probably just follow one of these lines on the field. And um, that'll be the way to go. So I've sold the last of the sunflower into there. I did sell our harvester as well. Um, so it is gone. It's fertilizing. Uh, so it's gone. So I don't know whether we will get another fortress harvester or we'll try and save up and get that pocop thingy, whatever it is. Um, but we're probably going to need we're going to need to sort that out pretty soon, so we may need to see the bank and um, borrow a little bit more money to be able to buy that guy when the time comes, but we need to um, also pick up um, a lime spreader as well, which we need to do this episode. Spread this field with lime as well. So I figured if we can spray this with fertilizer now, then we can come through and cultivate and lime and then fertilize again before we seed. So that way it's fully fertilized, fully limed, all that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, be ready to go for our next harvest, which is tomorrow. Um, other thing I need to sort of check with you guys, would you like me to run at times five again? Similar to what we're doing with our Marble Manor series, like no matter what we always run at times five or should we just leave it as um, times one and we'll just run at times five sort of the end of the day um, it's completely up to you guys you guys let me know what you think Alright, so let's get this finished. We're just about done. Probably get our cultivator started, ready to go. But I'm going to wait a second. I want to try and get a run at both ends, like I usually do. And then um, set our worker to go again. I'm still having some drums with that harvester as well. I don't know if it's a harvester or this map, but um, there are things... You can see things moving below the map there. Oh, I have no idea what that is. I'm not sure if they're vehicles... Looks like it. I had birds there, but there's vehicles moving below the map. That could be part of the reason why. <laughs> it could be part of the reason why we're having dramas with the harvester, not wanting to harvest the whole thing. So, yeah, I don't know. Not quite sure exactly the reason behind that. But, um, right, so that's that done. We've fully fertilized the field to stage one, of course. So I want to leave the trailer here. Um, and we can go and grab possibly a lime spreader once we're ready to do that. We'll jump in um, our little fortress as well here. Fortrite, fortrit. I don't know how you'd say it. But um, I love these mods. I love this tractor. It's really, really good. It certainly um, makes me... I don't know. It makes me realize how hard it would have been back in the day for the people that were in the farming life way back before they had decent size equipment like we do these days like it's it's um yeah sort of takes you back and makes you realize how lucky we are to have the things we have today um especially me in my work industry like i work in an open cut coal mine you can just imagine how hard it would have been back in the day for the people that were working early on in the coal mines. I know probably well back um, 
before they had decent trucks and that. Everything was so small, they wouldn't have had um, as much equipment to move around. They wouldn't have moved as much dirt or coal per year and that sort of stuff. But the majority of it was underground and, and done by horses and stuff. So nowadays, no more horses underground. It's all machinery and pretty bloody lucky to, I guess, be in the, the situation we're in now and not have to stress too much about Know, things like that, having to have horses underground, which I think it's pretty, like I feel bad for them, pretty wrong in my opinion, having horses underground, they're not meant to be underground. Um, I know they did come out on their days off and that sort of stuff, but still they're working underground pitch black, it's bad enough for us humans doing that, let alone, you know, an animal that has no choice but to work down there when he's told to work, so, <coughs> sorry guys, um, don't get me wrong, I'm no animal activist or anything like that, but um, I do still believe in animals being treated right, being taken care of properly. Now, I'm not saying that those people underground never treated the animals right. I'm sure they did. I'm sure they absolutely loved the guys, loved, loved the horses and all that sort of stuff, and they did everything they could for them, but they still, still don't think they should have even been put underground in the first place. But, um... Anyway, next subject. So we'll um, get this done. I will run back and grab a lime spread up in the shop. Um, I was also looking at possibly getting a bale trailer as well. So that's another thing that I want to try and get today. Or a trailer which we can use for bales as well as other stuff. So this tractor probably should really go back to the shop with us. But it can't because it needs to cultivate this field so we're going to have to use the other guy unfortunately um, and manhandle the things around that we need to move around right so worker is in um, all right so go to the shop quickly we're going to go fertilizer we're going to go into this guy um, Go, it's not Azul, we'll go Rabe. I don't know what sort of top, we'll just go black tires. I know white, I suppose. Um, should we stay with yellow for that? That'll do, we'll buy that. Um, bailing, 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 where are you? Yeah, so we've got some new trailers. We've got the Lometris PTL 12R, green one. The same one, but red. Or orangey red with only one wheel though, not two. So I think that's okay. We've got the refurbished 20 foot trailer that like we had before, or just a standard bale trailer, which is probably way too big. So I sort of I think we'll go with a green double wheel one, and then we're going to need to go into here and purchase some um, herbicide. Um, we should be right with fertilizer. Uh, seed and all that sort of stuff, yes. Um, I might grab, might grab one bag of oats because we're going to put some horse stuff in today, I think. Um, let's turn around, head to the shop, pick all this stuff up. So I want to, we're going to start with horses, so when we come back and plant here, we're going to plant, he's missing bits, we're going to plant, um, four horses. So we'll plant our oats down. Um, I know this is sort of a shortcut but we're not running on a field. This is grass. So, um, so yeah, we're going to put down horses today and sort of progress into some animals which we didn't get to progress into at Maypole Farm. We we're just so close to progressing to horses and animals at Maypole Farm but we just missed out just a little bit short. This tractor is not liking this road at all. It's pretty rough. Alright, so we'll head to the shop. Ooh, around the corner. Um, yeah, so we'll pick up this trailer, fill it up with lime, bring it, oh, the lime spreader, bring it back. We might need to even come back and grab the trailer with some more lime on it. Um, herbicides, the, oat, the oats for our sheep, or sheep, horses, I should say. Oats for our horses, and um, yeah, then we'll, we'll be on our way to 
getting to where we need to go. We've still got some seed bags there as well, which we need to sort of fix up so we can chuck them on the on the trailer as well. Alright, so let's grab the trailer first and we'll move him out of the way. Just to here. I'll leave it running while we load this up. So we really need we really need the uh, forklift up here. Forklift. Well a forklift will be good, but um the front loader on our other tractor would be more ideal, but we'll just man whoop, manhandle it for now. I guess. Um, how's that sitting? Oh, that's pretty good. Right, so another bag of seed. Oop, sort of mucking up that first one. Oh god. Right there, let's we'll throw some oats on as well for our horses. Oop. Gonna grab our herbicide. About there. Can we move it forward? There we go. Um, we're gonna grab a bag of lime or two bags, actually three bags of lime. because uh, we can throw one ooh, one bag ooh, into there if we can get it on. There we go. And the other one on there as well. Then we'll throw one on our trailer, and then strap everything down, and we should be ready to head back. Obviously not with um, this trailer, but uh, I should take, take that one off with this guy. It should be full. I think 4,000 litres is full. Where is it? No, 8,000 litres. Well, there we go. Another two more. Thought it was 4,000, but no, 8,000. There you go. I don't think. Um, ooh, there is a towing hitch on there. I wonder if we can actually hook this up onto this guy. No, not a fan. Alright, so we'll swing it around. There you go come back and pick that up when we need to. We need to take this down and start liming that field. But before we do that, like I said I think we're going to go with um, the CK10 Po Top. Now we need obviously a little bit more money or we can go with leasing it. Um, I feel like leasing it is okay for now and then we could possibly buy one later on. So I'm more than happy to just lease this guy. So let's go lease you, um, where are we, headers, so this will go on to the one we've got now, SK10 rotor, so 6, 7, or 8.6 metres, not really sure which one to go with, I think um, uh, I could possibly go with that guy, let's lease you. Now, do we need a header trailer? What's that for? That could, yeah, that could be for the po. Ooh, I don't know if that's for the right thing. Right, let's. Oh, it's got something attached to the back, so I don't know if that's going to attach to there or... Yep, I think that's what, what's meant to attach to. So I'm going to just manhandle this. I'm not going to try and load it on properly. If we can... That will... Whoop, hopefully that'll allow us to get this down to the field reasonably well. Oh, I think that's, yep, that's attached now, so that's not going to go anywhere. Not that it's attached very well, but it's attached. So at least we know we've got a, a header and a header trailer now. So this thing definitely sounds a lot better than the Fortrid. 
Oh, there we go. So we've got that trailer to come. We've got this guy as well. Take him down. Start climbing the field. I'll have a look and um, see how he's going quickly. Uh, this way, growth. He's doing a pretty good job. Not missing anything, so that's the main thing. Turn this way. I noticed the trampoline in that backyard too. I had a bit of a jump on that trampoline off camera. It works pretty well. I've seen the kids out the front mucking around and went out the back, had a bit of a jump on there with them and back to work now. Like the, the parents thought I was a bit weird. You know, out the back, grown adult out the back jumping on the trampoline, but the kids loved it, so can't complain at all. Kids had an absolute ball. So this guy is, I believe, 8 metres wide, 6 metres wide. So we'll need to look at that when we do our manual GPS with our map. And I really hope this thing um, spreads properly. I did have drums with it at Maypole Farm, which you guys would have seen. So I'm kind of hoping that um, we don't have the same sort of dramas with this guy. So that cultivator's absolutely hammering through that. He's doing a really good job. There's a few bits over there he's missed up, so, but other than that, he's doing a, he's doing a great job. Alright, so set ourselves up. Let's go. It's 776 we're sitting at. Um, yeah. I don't know what's going on there. Same sort of issues we had last time. So I don't, I really don't know what's going on with that at the moment. We'll just keep going anyway. It could be just, so it could be the ground, but no, it seems to be doing it everywhere. So I don't know. We'll have to just spread it along. I might do a run down this side. And then run up the other end, hire a worker, and see if the worker can maybe get it done better than we can. Because it see, it seems good there. And then it'll, all of a sudden it'll start mucking up. Unless it's just the way that we're running on the field that it doesn't like. You can see that we're nearly out of line already. So it's not going to get done, I don't think. Even the hired worker is sort of struggling. Um, where are we? I'm just going to let him spray. Hopefully these guys don't get in each other's way. I'll try to take over for a second here. Oh, they should be right. See, even that, it's just, he's not, not getting the bloody spots right. What is going on with that? Oh, I just do not get it. I really don't. Thought I'd give it a second chance because of the map, but no, it's still absolutely shite house. Alright, done. Touch you, and you can uh, get junked. You can get junked. What I am going to do is turn alarming off because I just don't know when we're going to get. Um, another proper lime spreader. Like now we don't have anything really that suits what we want to do. Like that's seed only, that's seed only, lime, 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 but I don't want to be using these guys. I mean I know that they will work, but we shouldn't have to use these. Anyway, how are you going? Um, are you nearly finished at last run? So what I'll do is you can head back to the farm, grab the cedar and start seeding. This other guy can go for a run back and grab the lime spreader. And um, we can fill it up. I think we not, might need to purchase a fillable tank up here at the farm actually and not have a whole heap of... Um, Know, fertilizer bags all over the place, lime bags all over the place. Really rolled our tractor then. 
I did hear on the news just before, unfortunately, when I was in the car, that um, a local farmer to me passed away today, 77 year old, and he got crushed by his tractor, unfortunately. So it's pretty dangerous and it's it's sad to hear things like that. That's it's absolutely terrible. It is really, really devastating for the family. Um, obviously, he never meant for that to happen. He was, from what they said on the radio, he was out there working on servicing the tractor and something has happened and it's rolled over and it's crushed him unfortunately so a bit of a shame um, and really devastating for, for the family of course so for those of you who are out there working on your tractors in real life please be bloody careful unless one little mistake like that can um, yeah can be the end so we all need to sort of take a bit more care and look out for each other, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, it's a um, very, 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 very sad thing to hear. Alright, so we'll um, head this guy back to the fields up here, start seeding our oat. This tractor still hates these rough roads. Start seeding all this oat, and um, we'll have an, have oat ready for the horses tomorrow. We've got one bag of oats, so that should get them by for now. But probably won't be enough to suffice them for too long. Actually, we should do a run this way as we normally do. Gonna run back up as well. The track is sort of in our way a little bit here, but it'll be fine. So I think he's completely finished there. I'm not quite sure. It's a little bit for us to touch up that he's missed, so we'll go and have a look at that in a second. I will send this guy on his own up the other end of the field, and then when he gets up there, we can possibly sort him out with doing runs up the other end. Alright, so off you go. Let's have a quick look. Uh, make sure... Oh, it says it's all cultivated, so he hasn't missed anything. Alright, so we have to take this back to the farm and this thing is bloody filthy. Alright, so we'll stop me there for the second. Jump back into you, wait till we get to the other end, and then we'll get in, get him to go the other way, and we'll go from there. So is that ready? There it is, yep, it's all ready to cut up there. I can't remember which mowers I did actually put back into this game, because we had dramas at Maypole Farm, which you guys seen. So we'll do one run up, one run back, and then we'll get him to continue on. A long ways up and down the fields. You might have seen around the outside of this field here, I've also got rid of all those bushes. I just placed down um, our grass patch, which gets rid of the bushes and puts the grass back down to, for us to re-cut. That way we can actually come up here and cut around the outside of our field to sort of tidy it up that little bit and also use that grass in silage when we get to that point. Alright, there we go. So you can head back the other way. You can head back, drop this cultivator off. And we need to go back and grab that um, lime spreader. Come back down here, we can actually fill it up down here. I also need to get the animals in, the horses, so we're um I can't oh, I can't actually see. Let me sort of try and bring up my timer on my phone. That's how I work out how long we've got to go. Uh, five minutes to go, so yep, we need to get that done like now. The horses. Horses of horses are going to get done now. 
Um, and off camera, I will bring him back, get him ready to spread the lime. I will bring the harvester back as well. And um, then we can go from there, I suppose. Well, I don't know well, how, but our tyres got really clean all of a sudden then. Alright, so drop you there. You can stop there for the second. We'll go into our animal pens. So we have um, a chicken coop, which is one thing I'm going to look at eventually. A large sheep pasture, which we've used previously in our Aussie wool series. A small horse paddock for two horses, or we've got just a general horse paddock, which probably fits the farm a bit better, I think. And um, this cow pasture, and obviously all this other sort of standard stuff. This is for cows, so we can. This is probably possibly like our thing we're going to do with our cows eventually. But um, we'll grab our horse paddock first. As you guys can see, it's pretty tiny, but it's um. I think it's plenty big enough for us. Um, I think. Try and get it so it says until we own the land. There we go. One in there. Should we go two? It's so got water there. We've got like feed and stuff there. We've got where the horses go. In there, possibly. I'm not quite sure. So. Let's roll this guy forward a fair bit and chuck him in there. Two, why not? Right, let's go and have a go for a quick run around. See what that looks like. Right, let's get rid of those bushes too. So over here, a little area for them to to hide. So this is what the food. This is uh, straw, maybe. Um, Need to work out where. Actual open gate, closed gate. Okay. Oh, and the animal dealer here. Awesome. So it's just a string, but that's pretty cool. And we have the water spot there. Awesome. So two of those guys. Exactly what we need. So we do also need animal transport, which we. Mm, no, animal transport. We don't really have anything. For horse, oh, no, here we go. Here's some horses. Six and six. So we can either go the animal transporter, the white roof, or we'll go this one, which is more of a triangular roof. Same colour, just a little bit different. So either way, actually, that takes nine sheep, that takes ten. I think this one looks better. So we'll grab that guy as well, and we can bring our horses back. So I might not, um, so how much are the, are they five grand each? They're going to be tight on money. They really, really are. Yeah, five grand each. So if we get them, we'll have like six grand left. So it's going to be a little bit tight, but, um, all right, let's jump in this guy. We'll have a look at our guy up here working well, which is the quickest way to the shop from here. Probably this way. Go and grab our lime spreader, bring it back. Get it under there and go from there. So one other thing is, do you guys want to keep it a half an hour per episode? Or would you like me to bump it up to the 45 minute, 50 minute mark like we do with Marwell Manor? Um, you guys let me know what you would like to see and what you would like to do. I'm um, more than happy to do it either way, but you guys need to let me know. Which way does that go? Not quite sure if it's worth taking that risk. Might come in down the other end of the map somewhere. So you can sort of, um, oh yeah, all the way down the bottom. All these fields here would be awesome to, to buy in one big go. 365,000, all these little fields. Certainly that's probably something I'd like to eventually purchase. Obviously it's a long way away from where we are now, but also, when would you like to see this series finish? Episode 40, 50, or just when we own every single bit of land, or you guys let me know, or I'll just continue to play it until I sort of feel like I'm kind of getting bored and kind of over it, yeah, mate, or um, until there's something 
better comes along, another idea. Uh, it's up to you guys. You guys need to let me know. There we go. Turn our timer off. So I won't buy um, any animals this episode. I will leave that for you guys to do in the save game. What I might do, thinking now, we might might hook this up. I might um, go back into my timer. I'm going to add an extra 15 minutes. Why? Because it's episode 20, we've hit a milestone, and that means I can get more done before you guys get the save game and can actually sort of, you know, have a save game a bit more advanced than where it is now. Oh, what's this other road? How far down? Can't really see it. We might just go the normal way. Probably not that far away, but... There's another mower in there. An old school mower. I'd love, I still love for someone to make either a lawnmower mod where you walk behind it and push it, you know, to mow around your house, or a ride-on lawnmower. Like a zero-turn Kubota ride-on, or a John Deere ride-on, or whatever, I don't care, whichever one, but it'd be pretty cool to get something like that so we can have it to mow just around our farm. Pretty awesome, especially for a series like this. Alright, so we'll head back and grab some lime in this rough, rough tractor. Um, where is this? Do, 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 do. There we go. So it doesn't matter how the tractor moves now, it's sort of, we stay vertical to the world, which is probably a little bit better for you guys. Because it's how, how would it be if we were sort of driving it too, I guess we would we hit a bump, we wouldn't be, our head wouldn't be sideways, it's like a, our head would always be straight up and down sort of thing, or a little bit tilted left or right, but not, not as bad as what it is, having it the other way, alright, so we'll open this guy up, sneak in under here, pull him right up, and that does, yeah, that still goes through to the ground, but that's fine. That's going to take a little while, so let's have a look. This thing, I don't know what's going on here, but they still seem to be missing bits and pieces. Then if you look at the map, um, it's not missed, so I don't know. Alright, let's um, get this guy back down to the farm. So as I said, I will upload the save file. For you guys to download, I'm not going to go through and get 100% of all the mods. Um, you guys can go to farmingsimulator19mods.com, type in Fortrite, um, get the majority of the mods that way, and then if there's anything else that you guys have seen um, that I've got that is a Fortrite similar to this, like you'll be able to get that from the exact same website. We would just need to search for it a little bit harder than just typing in full try. If you just type in like Potop or something, it should come up. No guarantees, but it should. So this guy is bloody slow. So we'll get this guy back, um, work out where he's going to go. That reminds me we can get rid of you because we don't need you anymore. Oops. Don't need you anymore. We could possibly even, if we get time, go and get some horses. Now that I've added that extra 15 minutes, there is time that we can use to hopefully grab some horses. Right, so I can't wait to use this thing. This thing looks awesome. I love the big fat front wheels on it. I went the, the later model version, which doesn't really make much difference to be honest. I think it's still the same price, but looks that little bit more modern but 1987 I think it was so it's probably similar to the time frame we're sort of aiming for in this series anyway um, the head is so not on that trailer properly so I'm gonna have to try and fix that up as well it's nowhere near where it needs to be I don't like um, leaving things certainly sitting like that that would 
probably not make the trip usually. I think it probably needs to go a little bit further back. I don't know if that centre bit where we attach to the harvester needs to go between those two things or not. I'm not quite sure, but we'll swing a left here down towards the farm and go from there. So I really do hope you guys enjoy this map as well, the Lapinki map. I think it's really awesome. There's a mixture of really small um, fields, really large fields and everything in between. So sort of going to have everything that we need in a let's play and especially in obviously our rags to riches series so i'm going to swing in this way I'm not too worried about driving over that field because there's nothing on it it's just cultivated or just been seeded so we're not going to damage anything all right drop you off let's grab the um header Try and put this on just that little bit better, I suppose. I don't know if this is going to be any better, really. Let's um, let's do it this way. The tank is empty. I knew that was coming too. Um, something like that. I think that's what that's for. Don't quote me on it. drop that off there we go it probably looks a lot better than it did before park you up here under the tree done um uh, what are we going to do here just for this episode let's go buy uh, yep just get him just get him going because i don't really want to go back all the way to the shop bring the seed down to him, not at this point in time. That's what we would normally do, but not right now. Um, and even to put a seed silo in here still means we're going to have to bring him all the way down here and go all the way back again, so. So we're still leasing this breedle lime spreader. So similar to our last series. It's the only one in town. We've leased it we are filled it up with lime, so if anybody in the town needs a lime spreading, they can give us a call, come and pick it up, borrow it off us, spread their lime, bring it back, drop it off, and good to go. Like, we don't mind. I'm more than happy to help out. Lime's pretty cheap. We've got a huge silo of it, so we need to help out our fellow farmers in the area. Still got all that land down there too, so you guys, if you want to, go and cut all those trees down. Turn it into another field. Plenty of room up there. Plenty of money to be made too, if you want to spend the time doing it. Me, for one, I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of forestry. I mean, I like it, but it's just quite boring, fairly repetitive sometimes, so I sort of try and avoid, avoid doing it too much. So let's get this thing limed. It won't take us too long. Hopefully we can... Um, hopefully we can... Go and grab some horses after this. We've got a little bit more money now. So we should be alright. Five minutes left in the video, so I don't think we'll get any horses today. Unless I extend the video again, which I'm not going to do. I've already extended it once, so... A little bit left up to you guys. The trailer's there at the shop. Go and pick it up. Go and grab your horses and then come back. All right, so this tractor is struggling a little bit pulling this thing along, but he's working. So we can even use this lime spreader to spread the other fields of lime as well when, when we get a request. Just gonna go back this way just to get out of that guy's way. Alright, let's go. Back this way. Um so we'll turn liming back on. We'll keep it back on. We'll just use this lime spreader, as I said. Similar to what we did last season, although we only got to use it the once. It only needs to be spread one in three times, so. We won't need it that often, but at least we have it there then. 
So what we'll do is when we finish with this, we'll go and take it back. We'll make sure we fill it up um, for any farmer that wants to borrow it. That way they can return it. Either they can return it full if they like. It's up to them. Um, or it's ready for them to go whenever they want it. They don't have to fill it up before they return it, but that would be nice, of course. Seeing as though they're not paying for the actual usage of the trailer and the spreader itself. Oh, this will be one more run and then we'll be done. I'm still really surprised how they missed that little bit. It is a little bit annoying. Alright, so last run with lime. The last run with the cedar. I don't know where he's going. It's always this little bit of the field that sort of stuffs him up. There he goes. He's going to turn around. Is he going to start there somewhere though? Or is he going to start all the way at the other end? That's the question. Where is he going? No, he's going to start there. Good on you. Go back to the bloody start. Do it for me. Just because of the way the field ends, I think. They're not... Um... Oop, there we go. They're not sort of... The way they're put into the game, they're not designed to go to the start of the field. They're just designed to go to the next bit that they can find. Which obviously... Is the wrong bloody bit. Where are we done to? Can't even see it now. I'll have to wait for him to move. Missed a little bit. Don't worry about it. Not going to stress about it too much. Alright, let's cut across this field. It is only a grass field, so we can cut across it without damaging anything. Um, also just thinking, we're going to need water for our, um, for our horses as well, so we might need to buy a water trailer to set ourselves up for the next episode, and also set you guys up for the next episode. I was thinking of trying to put in a water trigger down the back here somewhere, like our own little dam as well. Oops, all right, there you go, that's done. Let's go into animals. There we go. Um, actually, they're not even there. Where are they? Well, there's one. That's a... Um, I don't know if that's just fuel. That's just fuel, I think. Um, this guy, which transports liquids. I think that's, that's only fuel as well. Where is our water tanks? I'm sure I put other water tanks in here. Um, okay, where's our fortrite? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There. So I'm sure I put other water tanks in. No, nope, maybe not. Oh well. Looks like you guys like to sort that out yourself. I'm sure I have other water tanks that we have available to be able to use as well, so... I'm going to stick this out the back here, out of the way. Done. Right, you can park up here for a second. We'll go back through to you. Um, there's a spot there that you missed too, you bugger. Right, well, we'll bring you down here. We'll drop off this seed up under the tree. Grab this spread up, uh, spray up and spray this field quickly before we um, end the episode. Probably won't get it done right before the end, but we won't be far off. Alright, so drop you off there. Back around. Pick this up. Ooh, there we go. Can unfold. Certainly is a good sprayer, this one. Especially with us being able to empty it. It's going to work out well for us. Oh, let's go. Spray this field. 
That should give us double fertilization. It's going to be growing. That's all we need. Everything's on. Plant withering is off just in case. Um, double fertilization. And then we've got this to spray the weeds as well when they arrive. We do have um, in here. Do, 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 weeders somewhere. There we go. We do have the the Gorenk puller. It's only two meters in width, but that is a lot cheaper than using um, herbicide if that's the way you want to go. Rightio, guys. Well, um, I'll end the episode here. That is episode number 20 done. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the series so far. Look out in the description for the link to the save game file and have fun with it. Um, if you're new to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed the episode, as always, hit the like button. Leave a comment if you want, and let me know what you thought of the series so far. If you're going to play the save game file, um, and, if you, and what you want to see from here on out. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.